I think it's about time I talked a bit about what's led me here and I guess take you back to what my life was before I started making these videos seven months ago. So in 2021, I graduated from high school and just didn't really have a clue as to what I was gonna do. I'd heard a bit about gap years, but didn't really know how to do one and was weighing up either getting into a five-year physio degree or a Bachelor of Communications and Media, which is basically journalism. I decided to start my communications degree and like instantly questioned why I'd chosen it. And quite quickly, I had my mind up to try something else, but I had no idea what that was gonna be. And without any plan, after my first semester in 2022, I decided to defer my course for six months. I was probably gonna work, save as much as I could, and just do very little for the rest of 2022. About a week later, a mate from school, Cam, messaged me saying there was a job opening down south for me to work and live on a winery in Yelling Up. If he hadn't messaged me that day, which was June 26th, 2022, I don't know if I'd be doing any of this. I said yes, and three weeks later, packed up everything I had and moved down into this flat in Yelling Up and worked full-time at this winery, surfing most days before and after work, meeting so many new people and having a lot of fun. So six months later with this newfound freedom and kind of realization, I guess I could do what I wanted. Me and two other mates, one who I'd only just recently met at work, decided to go on a three-week indoor surf trip. And three days after getting back from that, I went on a Vietnam trip with some more mates. Yeah, the realization of freedom and travel had become really clear to me at this point. But now it's time to decide on whether I go back to uni or not. I was basically out of money for my traveling, the accommodation down south had been taken and I didn't have anything planned to do. So within just two days of enrollment closing and being certain that I didn't want to go back into journalism, I enrolled into a business degree while still in Bali. And that first semester back, fucking sucked. It was this massive internal conflict of knowing the course had no value and no interest for me, wanting to do something different with my life, but having no clue what that was going to be and how it could ever become a career. So that semester, while doing the bare minimum to pass, I started thinking hard about what I really wanted from life. Not what my family or friends wanted or what my school teachers wanted, but what I wanted. And that was when I came up with the idea for Dropout Diaries. At the core of it, I've been wondering what life would look like if I did decide to drop out and leave uni behind. What would it look like after six months, one year, five years? What could I do in that time? What could I achieve in that time if I really set myself on something? So instead of waiting for someone else to show me, I'd do it myself and be the one showing others what it's like. And that's what Dropout Diaries would become. To follow something different that you're interested in, even if others' opinions, values don't align with that thing, or what others want you to do, especially if that's not what they want you to do. Because I know so many other people who felt the same as me when I was at uni. Lost, anxious, and like tethered to the expectations from their family. If you want to know what happened since I started, lucky for you, I filmed all of it and showed the camera with full honesty what I was doing at the time and how I was feeling. Since we've come so far and so much has changed, I reckon now is a good time to just have a little flashback to what day one looked like. He does know whether he's perceiving something in this way or not. And secondly, that he hasn't been created by God yeah, in such a way that he's say is good. He pulled out the mouth and just raised the same yeah, yeah, I do show an unfiltered version of what dropping out looks like. So it's gonna be for building my brand at Windows Creative, saving and traveling. I'm gonna see how far my money can take me. And uh, I think it'll go a long way. It's not for everyone, but what everyone else is doing is for me. My name's Sam, thanks so much for watching. Drop out diaries, stay tuned, we gotta go travel well. We're now 32 episodes into this journey and we've hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's been seven months and nine days since episode one. It honestly feels like it's been a lot longer. And although 1K subs is so amazing and I'm honestly blown away that so many people would choose to actively subscribe because they want to see more of what I'm doing, the intrinsic gains from this whole journey have been even better. 
Like, I'm a completely changed man since that first episode. I'm still starting this journey. Like, I see this as a long-term commitment. And I feel like I'm finally starting to find that path, that career that I really care about, that I'm really interested in. Maybe you could say I'm finding my purpose. <laughs> Hard to know what that exactly means, but I'm, I'm fucking loving what I'm doing. And I want to help as many of you who are like the Sam seven months and nine days ago as possible. And that's gonna be my number one priority. So much has happened in the last seven months and I'm so grateful to have gone through the challenges I did because right now I'm in a really good place. And in exactly one month, I'll be going on a four month backpacking trip through Europe. I'm so excited to take you along with me. It feels like there's been so many pieces of the puzzle missing for so long and like they're finally starting to come together. When I first came up with the idea for Dropout Diaries, the original plan was for these videos to mainly just be about traveling. And now that dream combined with this newfound interest to I guess talk about Gen Z takes on philosophy or philosophy combined with now how much I enjoy making vlog style videos, that dream is well and truly about to become true. I mean it when I say that 1K subs is just the beginning. You guys are early to the party and I'm so grateful to have all of you here. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Sam. This is Dropout Diaries. We've reached 1,000 subscribers, ticked it off the board, and we're going to travel the world. See you next week.